Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today we're taking a look at the new TCL10 5G UW. This is a new and affordable 5G option on Verizon's network going for $400. Yes, 400 bucks for a device that offers a 6.53 inch display with the camera hole punch cutout, 128 gigabytes of storage, six gigabytes of RAM. It's running the Snapdragon 765G processor. It's got a 4,500 milliamp battery, a headphone jack, and 5G capabilities. Now, I've only had this phone for the past couple of days now, so this is not a full review, but more of a first look and impression so far. Now, I did get to check this out earlier this year in January at CES, but that was really just a quick hands-on. I didn't really get to spend a whole lot of time with the device. Now, for a $400 phone, I think this phone looks and feels great. It has this really cool diamond pattern in the back, depending on how you hold it in the light in certain directions. I think it looks really cool. Then it also has a fingerprint sensor in the rear as well that I personally think is the best spot for it. I mean... Your finger is pretty much always naturally resting there anyways, so why not? And it actually works very well, being accurate pretty much every time. Then above that, we get a triple camera setup with a main 48 megapixel lens, a macro lens, and an ultra wide angle lens. Now, I did test out the cameras a little bit, and I gotta say, not too bad. I was able to get some pretty good shots, whether I was using the main lens, macro lens, or ultra wide angle lens. Even the selfie lens is pretty decent. Now, of course, it's not the best I've seen, but it is definitely good for $400. Then when it comes to video, the video quality is decent as well. I did notice a little bit of focus hunting, which I'm sure can be fixed with an update, but for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. And of course, I will make sure to test it out a lot more for my full review. Now going to the front, we get a nice big 6.53 inch full HD plus display. It is an LCD display, but even though being an LCD display, it still gets pretty bright and colors look good as well. And I would expect the display to look good. I mean, this is a TV company we're talking about here. TCL makes some great affordable quality TVs with beautiful displays. And now this TV company here is making their own branded smartphone devices. So I would expect them to bring the knowledge of making good TV displays down to their smartphones. And so far they are doing a pretty good job. So when it comes to watching content or playing games or just scrolling through the phone itself, it's been pretty enjoyable so far. Now, speaking of scrolling through the phone, performance. So far, the phone has been handling everything I throw at it just fine. I haven't experienced any slowdown or lag. I've had a nice smooth experience so far. Now, I'm not talking about a 90 or 120 hertz type of smooth because this device only runs at 60 hertz, but honestly, it's not bad at all, especially for 400 bucks. This device has been running great over the past couple of days. And aside from performance, battery life has been pretty good as well. I've been able to make it through a full day, no problem. But of course, I'm going to need to give it some more time to see how the battery continues to hold up. Now, 5G. Okay, so the device tells me I'm on a Verizon's 5G network. And honestly, I'm not sure if it's true 5G or not, but I will say this. Speeds have been great on this phone. I'm able to go to any website, no problem, and it loads up fast. It loads up YouTube videos very fast with almost no waiting before it starts. And when I go to check something like my social media, it loads up quick and I can start scrolling right away. So again, not really sure how fast Verizon's 5G network is supposed to be, but whatever this phone is getting right now, it's handling it great. And honestly, I think this device is great for Verizon to introduce people to their 5G network at an affordable price. But overall, the TCL 10 5G UW has been great, especially for the price of 400 bucks. Very affordable. I'm going to continue testing it out and go more in depth with it for my full review. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that future video or any other future videos to come. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down in the comments sections below. What do you think about this device so far? Thank you so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.